you no longer have to eat dry, bland, baked chicken breast, scrambled egg whites, or drink protein shakes to be ballerina slim. Over time, those foods can damage your metabolism and impair thyroid function. You can be slender without being weak, hungry, or malnourished, and I'll tell you exactly how to do just that. You can stop starving yourself and eating small portions because certain foods that media manipulates us into believing that help with weight loss and eat more of is because their goal is profit, not weight loss or your improved health. At the end of this video, I'll show you my before and after photos and which conditions and diseases I reversed with this ballerina diet with delicious recipes found in the nutrition cookbook, The High Five Diet. This diet is filling, produces fast fat loss, maintains a slim physique, is nourishing, anti-inflammatory, improves thyroid function and digestion, boosts energy, increases metabolism, and accelerates healing. The Bowerina Diet and Metabolism Correcting Foods are what I'm sharing with you now, starting with the most filling and fat loss promoting food, flax and chia seeds. Flax and chia seeds are high in omega-3 fats, which promote healing, repair, and boost metabolism. I usually eat a half of a cup and up to one cup of ground flax seeds every day. And regardless of amount, I don't gain weight on either of these superfood seeds, unlike nuts or other seeds. I grind up the seeds first in my coffee grinder and then add them to fruit smoothies. Sometimes I'll make a delicious chia pudding with defrosted frozen berries or I'll grind up flax seeds and mix the flax powder into the defrosted overnight berries with their sweet fruit juice, which tastes like yummy granola. The next food you want to eat every day is vegetables, which should be the largest portion on your plate. All vegetables contain nutrients, which fill us up and let our bodies function at its best. Raw cruciferous vegetables are king and excellent at maintaining and improving overall health, which is why I eat a large salad every day. Potatoes get a bad rap but are fantastic for weight loss since they are low in fat and filling. Just don't add butter or cheese or cook them in oil. Fruit is another food you want to eat every day. Enjoy fresh fruit, but make vegetables a priority. Save dried fruit for when you're away from home and need a quick boost of carbohydrates for energy. Add legumes like lentils, peas, and beans, which are full of protein and are filling. Their fiber assists with gut health and constipation. Add whole grains to your diet if you like them. Just skip white rice since it's processed and easy to overeat, contains quite a bit of calories and can cause weight gain. Oatmeal is perfectly fine for most, but I found I gain weight whenever I eat oatmeal. Take a B12 supplement. Take a mushroom vitamin D supplement in the winter so your vitamin D stores don't go too low. Consume a small amount of iodized salt daily for electrolyte balance. Even if you don't sweat a lot, you're losing sodium all day long, especially during exercise. Excess estrogen increases cancer risk. So it's important to eat organic soy products like tofu or organic edamame, which reduces breast cancer risk and removes excess estrogen out of your body. Like good fats and bad fats, the bad soy you want to avoid 
includes isolated and GMO soy found in bars and fake meats and protein powders. Protein powders were designed for bodybuilders to gain weight and bulk our muscles. <laughs> so avoid all protein powders since they are inflammatory and cause weight gain. Avoid all alcoholic beverages, even wine. Alcohol is a known toxin that kills brain cells, impairs metabolism, and causes weight gain. Enjoy avocados, which are a healthy fat. Drink at least 96 ounces of filter water for hydration, healing, and satiation over 24 hours. Avoid heavily processed foods, sometimes referred to as frankenfoods, that are so harmful that they can modify your DNA, increasing cancer risk and weight gain because they are full of sweeteners, chemicals, and oils. The foods to avoid that can cause weight gain because they are high in saturated fat, excess protein, contain estrogen, and unbalanced hormones are dairy such as cheese, butter, yogurt, milk, and animal protein and animal products. These are the foods that you've been told to eat by advertisements and others, but these foods cause fat to accumulate and are devoid of fiber, which is necessary for gut health. Avoid oils since they are inflammatory, processed, impair immunity, and are high in calories. Mastering Diabetes states that oil is the most calorie-dense food on the planet, which is not a good food to consume, especially if you're trying to lose weight. By definition, oil is technically a junk food because it's high in calories and low in nutrition, like refined sugar, another junk food to avoid. People may not think oils are highly processed, but they are. For instance, I can't blend corn in my blender to make corn oil. Choose a handful of olives, not olive oil. Choose a sprinkle of coconut flakes, not coconut oil. Eat an avocado, not avocado oil. Shake sesame seeds on your Asian meal, not sesame oil. Enjoy peanuts, not peanut oil. <laughs> you get the idea. Processed foods are highly inflammatory and unnatural because the fiber is removed. Processed foods are altered and far removed from the plants grown in the earth, which can trigger pain and autoimmune diseases. If you're wondering what to eat, here's photos of the meals I eat all adhering to the ballerina diet rules. I love the meals. I'm full, I'm lean, and have lots of energy with these foods. I feel great. My health is the best it's ever been with this way of eating. Here's the before and after photos to not just tell you, but to show you that I lost body fat. Even more important to me is the health aspect. I lowered my cholesterol from high to optimal, improved my overall circulation, reduced my blood sugar levels, got rid of brain fog, bloating, and anemia, and reversed type 1 diabetes antibodies proven with a previous positive ZNT8 blood test and a later negative antibody blood test after changing my diet. Making these changes to my diet also strengthened my fingernails that were splitting down the middle. To make it easier for people to transition to this vegetable forward plant-based diet, order my paperback book, The High Five Diet with my favorite healing recipes. Go to Real Diet Help Dot com and click on ballerina diet or use the direct link in the description box below. Ballerinas are 
athletes and need more protein, just like those who exercise and lift weights regularly. So watch this video, which I'll post on the end screen from a natural vegan bodybuilder who answers protein questions and shares what he eats. Also, watch this video, how my husband makes the most flavorful tacos that taste even better than any meat tacos I've tried. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope to see you soon.